You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. It hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? You uh, why do you care? Me. Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Hmm. I mean, I'll just go backwards. <laughs> I'll just rewind until I get it right, but still. Uh, Patson, Watson, Olson, Mason. I don't. I don't know. Uh, Juliet, Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. Juliet By Watson. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh yeah. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my you boyfriend. Are ridiculous. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You, you could say that. Out, but why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Can I go to Victoria's room? I think ah. I can, right? Is this one that was open? So much to look at. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh, Juliet wrote this article about the Vortex Club being a cult. One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. That's right, we saw those old flyers from the Vortex Club when it was like fighting against capitalism. Remember back at the uh, the junkyard in Before the Storm? Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic then that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just Envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Mark Jefferson. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Ha! 
<laughs> I'm wasting your ink too, Victoria. Take that. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> I love that the uh, the like doe and deer imagery keeps appearing. I think Max has it on her shirt right now. And then there it is there, and I know I've seen it like all over the place. I don't remember the significance of it. I just know it's somehow attached to like Max in some way. Like it represents Max, I think. Yeah, she's got it on her shirt. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Yeah, trying to get her photographs in the Croft Gallery. Rejection letter. Oh, oh wait, those photos are right there. I think that's something I need to take a picture of. I don't know if I'm going to make it a mission to get literally every single photo opportunity, but I kind of want to. Oh, mess them up. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Oh, now I can take a photo of it. <laughs> so I guess if you want to do stuff like that, without uh, suffering the consequences, you could take the picture and then just reverse it. Because you'll keep the picture on you. But, nah. That thing is terrifying. God. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> oh yeah, the pregnancy test, that's right. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. So there's that super awkward encounter, but of course we can just reverse it. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but... I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? 
You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. I'm coming, Warren. Warren, I'm coming. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. <laughs> okay, trying to kill me into coming. This must be where Alyssa gets hit, right? The other guy's gone. Yeah. That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. So wait a minute, how did I miss that before? Did I miss it? Am I remembering wrong? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Now that I do that, I'm pretty sure I did that before. Huh. And I think I could take a picture of that. Yeah. Can use that picture to blackmail. Is that Zach? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Are you looking down your phone, huh? Oh my god, look at that. There's, it's actually animated. It actually moves. Huh. That's cool. Lissa, uh, want to talk to me now? Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. So yeah, not too many photos left. Three of them. RV. It was like the sun setting. Those I'm sure aren't in the school. I don't know about the bird though. It's near a tree on something. I don't know. It's really not very specific. I can't identify anything about it really. Other than there's a tree and a bird. It could be pretty much anywhere. Oh, isn't there an encounter with David here? So don't yeah. think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Well, I mean, I guess we take a photo and then rewind, right? God, I hate David. Such a fucking prick. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. You feel so bad that you have to do something terrible. And then, I mean, you can rewind it, of course, but the terrible thing still did happen for a brief moment. So is that a photo here? I don't think it is. No, so... I mean, I must keep the photo though, right? Can I use that later for evidence or something? I'm assuming so. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh. 
Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Where's the sun at? Because it looks kind of like the sun's setting. Don't want to miss the photo opportunity. Oh, there it is. It's not quite low enough, but I do see an RV, so I want to make sure I get that picture. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. So this has got to be Frank's RV, right? I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. So just two more pictures, the bird and the sunset. <gasps> Doggy! Is that uh, that dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Yeah, that's gotta be Pompadou. We saw them as a tiny puppy in, in uh, Before the Storm. What's going on over there? Wait, what the hell am I seeing over there? Something looks very strange. <gasps> Chloe Struck! Chloe Struck! Oh, we'll look at that in a second. Oh, I see what it is. They're like, I guess, 2D sprites of people to save on, like, computation power. So they're not like actual 3D models, just kind of like loops of 2D. Just some of them, though. Some of those people are real, so to speak. What the hell? I have to go find Warren and give. Who toilet papers a bike? Seriously. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Okay, yeah, so Chloe's truck! Twin Peaks, so that's a different uh, license plate than it had before, when we had just fixed it up and before the storm. Yeah. Huh. Must got a different license plate. I mean, I wonder, is this thing even really registered, though? I guess it must have been at some point for them to get a new license plate, but I was wondering about that. Like, as she drove it, it definitely wasn't street legal. But yeah, there it is, that old rust bucket that we fixed up. Uh, does it still have the red light? No, there's no light on top of it at all. Yeah, there's like a, a light up there. We used like a aquarium, a red aquarium light that we got out of the scrapyard. There's no light fixture up there at all for some strange reason. But uh, it looks like the bobblehead is still there. That's the one thing we put in it that still seems to be there. Cool. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Yeah, really, Chloe? You park... In both disabled spots? Hmm. Want to make sure I don't miss a bird. Oh yeah, and there's that symbol that also was uh, drawn on the back of the truck. Like on the back of the uh, the seats in before the storm. 
What's Chloe's doing? I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Warren is kind of like Elliot in Before the Storm, except the only difference is a pretty dang big one, which is that Warren is actually a good guy, not a nice guy TM like Elliot, who turns out to be a creepy fucking stalker. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Yo, Ooh, Max, bird. check it out. Can I take a picture of you? Sorry, Warren, I do not care about you. I'm very fixated on birds at the moment, okay? I see a squirrel. Squirrel's not a bird. Max, get your ass over here. Shh. It's really not the bird, huh? It seems so obvious. Okay. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Well, okay. Calling her a bitch makes me like Warren a little bit less. But still, much better than Elliot. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little missensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No. <laughs> I've heard about that movie. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. The more I talk to Warren, the more I like him less and less. I really didn't remember that much about Warren. In my memory, he was just like, yeah, he's kind of a nice guy. But I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just gonna be standoffish. The only person Max will be with is Chloe. I don't wanna speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. 
I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Forgot about this encounter. Answer me, bitch! Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Chloe! This is where Chloe comes in. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Yeah, this is the thing I'm most interested in. Why, Max? Why did you not keep in touch? I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max.
Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Oh, that must be the bird picture. Anyway, though, I think this is a pretty good place to stop the episode because it looks like it just saved. Yeah, just to talk a bit more about Chloe and Max, that's, again, that's one of the biggest reasons I want to replay this, is to understand why they were, why they were so close and yet Max didn't, apparently didn't like call or text really at all in about five years. Certainly seems like they didn't visit. Why? I don't know. I mean, they talked a little bit about it in the truck there, but I mean, Max's excuses were really weak and I hope they address it more after this because that's very unsatisfying and Chloe was definitely giving Max some shit and rightfully so her lame excuses anyway I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return we're I guess gonna have an awkward I don't remember if we actually meet David at the house but if we do it's gonna be a little bit awkward since Max just, you know, told him off when he was talking to Kate. So that's <laughs> that might be a little bit awkward. But yeah, be back soon.